Hello friends, in today's video, I am going to show you the step by step procedure to draw an Archimedean spiral. Before we directly jump into the problem statement, let's have a look at the definition of a spiral. It is a curve traced by a point which moves uniformly about the center and at the same time moves away or towards the center. For example, let's imagine a rod or a link is rotating about one of its end point in anticlockwise direction and at the same time there is a point moving on the link from one end to the other. So here a link is rotating and simultaneously a point is moving linearly over the link. Then the path traced by the point will be a curve of this shape and it is called as an Archimedean spiral. Let us now look at the problem statement. A link OA having the length 80 mm is rotating about O, the point P initially at A moves uniformly towards O and reaches at O in one revolution of a link. Draw a curve traced by the point P, name the curve. Now, to solve this, first up, let's draw a line of length 80 mm. Let's call one point of a line as O and another as A. As point is moving from A to O, mark the initial position of a moving point as P and final position as P dash. Now take a compass and take the distance equal to OA which is 80 mm and with center O draw a circle. Next step is to divide the circle into 8 equal parts. You may divide it into 12 equal parts. As we have divided our circle into 8 equal parts, now let's divide the distance traveled by the point which is OA here also into 8 equal parts. As point P is moving from A to O, name the points on OA as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 from A to O. Similarly, as we have assumed that our link is rotating in anticlockwise direction, we will name the points on the circumference of a circle as A1, A2, A3, up to A7 in anticlockwise direction. Now this is interesting. Initially point P is at A. After a certain time, point P will move at 1. But at the same time, the link has got moved from OA to OA1. So, the exact location of point at that time would be here. In next interval, the position of a link will be here at OA2 and the position of point will be here. Remember that the point is moving over a link and approaching towards O. Hence, after every successive interval, the position of the point will be shifted closer and closer to O. And finally, it will reach at O and link has completed its one revolution. Now, if we connect all these positions of a point, then we get the path traced by the point P and here we have our spiral. But the question is, how to mark those different positions of point P on a link? Let's get into that. To mark the position of point after first interval of time, take a compass and take the distance in a compass equal to O1 and with center O, draw an arc up to the line OA1 and mark that point of intersection as P1. For next point, take the distance in a compass equal to O2 and with center O, again draw an arc up to the line OA2 
and once again mark the point of intersection as P2. Next distance will be O3 to get the point P3. O4 to get P4. Alright, now wait. To mark the next points, instead of taking arcs in anticlockwise direction, we will take it in clockwise direction. You will come to know why is it so. Alright, so take the distance O5 and draw an arc until it intersects with the line OA5 and mark the point of intersection as P5. Next, take the distance O6 to get the point P6 and O7 to get P7 and final position is already marked as P dash. Now it's time to connect all the points from P to P1, P2, P3 up to P dash and here we have our spiral. Finally, name the curve as Archimedean spiral.